Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the free version of Unify Identity. Currently, the free version of UID allows us to invite users for one click Wi Fi, one click VPN, door access, Unify Talk soft phone, which seems to be only available in the USA as the recording of this video, and EV station. We won't be looking at the Talk soft phone or EV station as I don't have either of those. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button as we're closing into 100,000 subscribers. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. Now let's get right into the free version of UID. We're on the dashboard of my UDM Pro and I'm running Unify OS version 4.0.6, which was just recently released to the general public. How we get to our UID free version, we need to go over to admins and users. From here, we could see admins, users, groups, and then we could see identity settings. I'm gonna click on the identity settings. Now for the identity settings, we could see up top what it would look like on our phone and we could change the site logo, which I'm gonna to do to my business logo. But I'm gonna change the site name and I'll just call it Mac Telecom. Below here, we can see that one-click Wi-Fi is disabled, one-click VPN is enabled, and same with phone-controlled door access. We don't have the convenient EV charging or the talk soft phone, but when I do get one of those, I will do another video on it. And we also have identity credentials. So we have auto send invites to users. If we look at what that means, if a user's account has an email address configured, automatically send an invitation email after feature permissions are assigned and then we have require verification code when loading a credential. I'm going to click on both of these and then we're going to apply the changes. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to add a user, push it out to their email, download Unify Identity on our phone, and then we'll give them one click Wi Fi VPN and door access. First, let's get our one click Wi Fi enabled. All we need to do is click on the drop down menu and press enable. From here, it says enable one click Wi Fi will temporarily disrupt the Wi Fi network at this site, are you sure you want to proceed? And we're gonna say enable. With that, a new Wi-Fi SSID is created and it's called Unify Identity. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change this and just call it staff, and then we'll apply the changes. After doing that, we could take a look at the Wi-Fi settings that they're giving us just by clicking down here on the network. And this is the defaults that were given for Unify Identity. You can see that I changed the name, so it is now showing staff but the network is on my default network. I've already created a staff network, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose that. Now going down below, our Wi-Fi bands are just on the 2.4 and on the five. If we want the six gigahertz, we're going to have to enable that. And then we could scroll down to the bottom. The security protocol we're using is WPA2 Enterprise. I'm gonna leave everything else to the same and we're gonna just press apply changes. The next thing we need to do is our one-click VPN and it's given it a name of 2024. That just grabbed what my console name is, but I'm gonna change it to staff VPN. We're gonna hit apply changes and then we could look at the VPN configuration by clicking on the network. The VPN type that UID uses is WireGuard. You could see the name is staff and then it has our private and our public keys. It also tells us our server. I do have a yellow triangle over it as my IP isn't a static IP. Now we don't have any clients added into this yet because I haven't added any users, but if we wanted to change the subnet or the gateway, this is where we could do it. It just grabbed an open subnet of 192.168.7.1. And we could also specify different DNS servers if we'd like. I'm gonna leave it at default and press apply changes. We already have the phone control door access enabled. So the next thing we need to do is to add a user. And where we do that? Well, it's under our user account. In the right hand corner, we have this plus icon and we could add a user or we could import users from CSV. I'm gonna add a user. The name will be Mac Telecom. The last name will be test and then we'll put in my test email. So Mac Telecom test12 at gmail.com. If we do show more, this would give us an employee ID or an onboard date, but I'm just gonna leave that as blank. Next, we have different credentials. So I'm gonna give this user a pin of maybe 1598 and then we're gonna add that to their profile. That would be for the G2 Reader Pros if we're using them on site for Unify Access. They will have the mobile app enabled and I'll show you that once we download it. 
Now this user will get one click Wi-Fi and one click VPN. If you don't want this user to be able to use it, you could just deselect it. We have them under the default site policy for our door access. I'm gonna be doing a whole other video series, a 2024 build video on Unify Access for more in depth on that. But for now, it's just allowed to get into every door we have configured under Unify Access. And then we have the group under Mac Telecom and I'm gonna add this user. After adding this user, it should just send them an invite to their email. We can now see from my phone that we have a email from Unify to my test email. So it says, welcome to Unify Identity. We're gonna click to open it. Here it says, hi, Mac Telecom. You have been invited to access Unify Identity resources to site Mac Telecom. Unify Identity Endpoint, click here to install. And we do see a code there at the bottom, which is a verification. We're gonna click to install the endpoint. Now it's bringing up Unify Identity Endpoint one click connection and we're gonna say get. With it now downloaded, we're gonna press open. It says, welcome to Unify Identity. It shows us that we could do door access, one click Wi-Fi and VPN, and I'm gonna press get started. It says from this phone, we need to load our credentials. So we need to go back to that email and then load the credentials in. In the email, it says load your credentials. All we need to do is tap. With the verification code entered, it says identity would like to use Bluetooth. And this would be used for our door access. And we're gonna say allow. Now we have our credentials loaded and you could see that I have door access. I have the one click Wi-Fi and the one click VPN. That's because I gave this certain user the permissions to be able to do that all. So if I click on the door, which I do have an access hub and a reader sitting beside me, it's gonna open up the door. Like you might've heard right back there, it did open up that door. And you can see that I'm just using my mobile data right now. And if I click on Wi-Fi, it's gonna say identity wants to join Wi-Fi network, Unify Identity. I'm gonna press join. You'd see right at the top that it's joined the Unify Identity one click Wi-Fi. Now I'm gonna click on the one click VPN and it should connect pretty quickly like it did. And you can see we're connected to the VPN. Now I'm gonna bring up a ping application and see if I could hit my Synology NAS. So my Synology NAS is sitting at 192.168.10.220. So let's ping that and I'm able to hit it with this one click VPN. And that's gonna be it for this video on the Unify Identity free version. And I really do like this. We're pushing it out to all of our clients that are using Unify Access. We have a few that are using the one click Wi-Fi and the one click VPN. This isn't strictly for mobile access though. You could do it on your computers as well. A couple things that I would like to see is mobile tap for the access. So then we could just tap our phone and it will open the door as well as camera sharing. This was a part of Unify Identity Enterprise before, but it would be nice to come to the free version. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about Unify Identity free version. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.